There is a buffalo in the house. We're testing the Buffalo Bore Standard Pressure Short Barrel Low Flash in 38 Special Non Plus P. This is 158 grain soft lead semi watt cutter hollow cavity. Whew, got all that out. We're going to be using the SimTest Media comparable to ballistic gel with four layers of denim. A lot of people carry little short barrel snub nose revolvers such as this. This is the 38 Special Plus P. It's a Smith & Wesson model 438 with a 1 and 7 8 inch barrel. It is plus P rated. Uh, if you don't have a plus P rated revolver, and there are a lot of those out there, it really narrows down the selection as to what you can use for carry. It just simply uh, could be dangerous to use in your little snub nose. Now interestingly enough, this is not cited or rated as a plus P or 38 plus P. But I recently tested a Spear Gold Dot in a lighter load, 135 grains, that was 860 feet per second advertised velocity, and it was a plus P. So we have a 158 here that is not plus P. What's the deal? But nonetheless, this is somewhat of a throwback. You notice that there's no copper or brass jacket around that. It is a soft lead semi watt cutter with a hollow and very deep cavity. So I expect to get some expansion out of that. My average uh, velocity was 850 feet per second out of this little gun and that's actually the advertised. So imagine that. And there was very little deviation between the low and the high. You'll see that in just a moment. This is a low flash. It was low recoil. I was shooting uh, that first shot was a single action followed by two double action pulls. No problem. These are manufactured in Montana in the US. They are using Starline brass, which is very strong and very uh, much preferred by reloaders. And uh, speaking of velocities, you could probably get over 900 feet per second, say with a 3-inch or longer barrel. So we're going to throw this at the sim test. I'm really anxious to see this one. This was requested by a lot of viewers. Shooting from 10 feet, 4 layers of denim. Pretty good shot placement, and it's inside of the 20-inch block. Here we go. I apologize for the echo, but I'm in the garage with the door shut, and I have to do that this time of night with the lights to keep all the bugs out of here. This is the point of entry. This is the uh, right side of the track. It is flipped over. We're going to focus pretty much on that as opposed to the left. Start to see a stretch cavity forming about one inch in. Narrow, but well-defined. That runs up to about four and a half inches. And again, remember, this is not a jacketed bullet, so you're not going to have the same type of uh, cutting action on this uh, media or tissue because it's a soft lead bullet and probably uh, not expected to expand a whole lot. Where are we now? Ten inches. Still going, still moving. Starts to turn uh, this direction just a little bit. 13, 14, 15. Okay, we get up to this point. Some of you are sitting there saying, wow, a 38 Special. 15 inches and we're still going. I'm getting excited about that. And there's some other folks that are sitting there saying, oh crap, over penetration. And the debate begins. I stop at 18 inches for my marker, but this went a little bit further. 19 inches is where the edge of this rested. This is the top half of the track now. And the bullet uh, had lodged there, but when I split this, it fell into place right there on that half. That uh, stretch of denim just marks the 19 inches. That's it. You can see the gas check on the bullet. See that again closer in just a moment with some still shots. And there is a nice plug of denim in there. So the debate, how much is too much? Uh, I'm a small to medium sized person and from bottom of armpit to the other it's about 16 and a half inches. Again, I'm, I'm not a big guy, but there are a lot of big people out there. So you might want 18 to 19 inches of penetration and some of you may not. There's one of the marks, but the average diameter is .413. Over on the far right, you see all the garbage that I pulled off and out of the cavity. Retained weight is coming in at 159.2. In
In the event that you don't already know this fact, ballistic testing, regardless of format and who is doing it, is simply a representation of the real world. A representation, that is all. And when you look at this sim test media, which is a gel format, that represents soft tissue, organs, muscle, fat, and so forth. The one key element that is missing here is bone. So in this example of 19 inches of penetration, hit on bone or multiple bones would definitely impact this trajectory, the bullet performance, penetration, expansion, and so forth. This is the type of load that I might consider carrying and hope that in the unlikely event that I had to use it, I just hope that the law of averages is in my favor. Thanks for watching.